Christmas and a week of um, and then the year and so the um, New Year's Eve so let's look and see what is happening for you guys so the energy of the hermit comes up with the new beginning so a lot of you will be looking at uh, yourself a lot of you will be going within there's a lot of fire energies that is coming up for you guys um, a lot of fire energies that are coming up for you guys really a lot of fire energies that are coming up for you guys um, and the energy of strength comes up on Saturday and on Sunday you have the six of ones which is a very positive reading and on Sunday some of you will be moving and going forward some of you are having a situation with the king of cups the king of cups the king of swords some of you are going to be having a situation with the king of sword king of sword is yourself basically so some of you king of swords this week is going to um, there is going to be a new part that is opening up for you king of swords in this week whatever the situation is there is going to be a positive new part that's opening up for you king of swords so you know it's as if your angels and guides are going to be coming in in this week let's look and see you have the energy of um, 11 coming up twice it's as if a portal is opening up for you guys because uh, is it 11 no um, that was nine. You have the eight of ones, the nine of ones, the six of ones, a victory, and you're moving away on Sunday. So, whatever is happening, let's see what is happening on Monday. You have on Christmas Day the ace of ones. The ace of ones is positive, it's going to be a positive day because what is happening? The energy of the hermit is the week's energy, and what is happening is that a lot of you are connecting with yourself so there is a new beginning um, on Christmas Day you're going to start to look at yourself you're going to start to look for inner wisdom in yourself you're going to try to let go some things that um, some things that's, that's not good for you and some things that is um, vibrating not on a positive energy but you're going to you know try and let go some of these things that no longer serve you which is good Whatever is happening, um, the energy on Tuesday, the tower comes. And you're not working, so you know it's like the day after Christmas. And I can imagine this that you feel, who you are going to just sleep. You're not going to do anything. You're just going to take a break from everything. The energy of the tower comes down, and you're like, no, um, I need to take a break. So whatever is happening, just take a break on Tuesday if you can. If you don't have to work, just take a break because the energy of the tower is coming down to clear like things out, clear the year out you know after the Christmas and all that rushing around and that sort of a thing if you celebrate Christmas and if you don't you know it's it's going to be the energy for you women or so you are tired you know whatever is happening you're having a situation with a queen of wands and you have the eight of wands. so the queen of wands is in the reverse form and a lot of information is coming at you a lot of things are coming at you so be aware of this situation because this is the energy of the queen of wands. queen of wands is an um someone older than 45 and as uh, uh someone whole, older than 45 and is um an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, and she said, you know, she's been swift. She's sending a lot of stuff. She's sending a lot of stuff towards you. So be aware of this because this could be somebody who is sending a hash word and negativity um, towards you. Not to worry because the energy of the, and this could be also a situation that you're having with your mom or that sort of a thing. On Thursday, you have the energy vibration of the world, the universe, this is good, and you have the nine of wands. So you're protected and whatever energy is there, the energy of the world and the universe is coming out for you. This is going to be very positive because on Thursday, it's going to be wonderful. It's as if you know, you know that things are going to be happening for you. Whatever you decide to do on Thursday, go ahead and do it because it's going to be good for you. As we look forward we have the energy of the two of wands and worries so a lot of you are worries about your financial situation you're trying to balance out your financial situation and this is going to be on Friday because Friday is um, the third day before the, the, the ending of the year so let's see um, what are you worried about because obviously this is this is actually 
um, Claire I don't think I need to ask a question because this is actually Claire it's just a lot of you're worried about your financial situation and uh, you're trying to balance that out and it's as if you can't balance it out because there's nothing to balance out so this is exactly what is happening for you but not to worry because it's going to get better um, on Saturday you're looking for inner strength and with this inner strength you have the seven of ones you're trying to protect yourself and look and look within for inner strength you're really really trying to protect yourself against these things and these people and you are trying to protect yourself from you know people coming at you so you're finding the inner strength to just walk away just keep away from people and protect yourself and this is the, you know one of the best thing that you can do on Sunday there is really a huge victory and you're moving away and going on a new journey so on Sunday there is a positive positive news that is coming in and with this news um, on Sunday you are moving away to something that is much better in your life in whatever way this victory is going to be a positive and a good victory so this is going to be good so whatever is happening whatever situation that has transpired in your life on Sunday there is going to be a hand and a victory towards certain things in certain situation and you're going to be feeling good and you're going to move in forward as I look at your reading um, whatever is happening with you and this queen of wands because it's someone who is really you know a swiftness whatever is happening there's a swiftness that is going on there is a situation of swiftness that this person a lot of messages coming from this woman a lot of it's like this person is texting you a lot of information is texting you texting you that sort of a thing or yeah so whatever is happening here you need to be prepared and ready for this because obviously this person is like and the energy of the tower is that you're just tired you're beat you're you know on Tuesday you you're feeling so tired so beat it is a fire sign with the energy of the eight of Pentacles you're like I'm not doing anything I'm so tired I just need to rest I just need to find myself so this is really a positive good energies okay so let's look and see what the wisdom of the Oracle have to say to you Librans okay all that glitter is not gold and that is so true all that glitters is not gold this is so true because what, what happened is that not all everything that glitters that is is gold because sometimes you see people with things don't ever be jealous of people because you never know how they get it I, I'm never I, I'm like oh that's nice and that's it I'm never jealous of people because you never know how they get their stuff I need to see beyond the superficial the desire to don a mask or to dress something up to distinguish its true nature trying to be something you're not chasing after every sparkly new things being mercurialist and this is this, this this is it this is it a lot of people and I see that a lot of liberals so you're like that because a lot of liberals um, like to chase after things and sometimes you know you think you're chased enough to something that is good and it's not always um, what glitter is gold okay it's not that you see people with things and you know you're going to be friend these people for whatever they have but not all time people are having it maybe it looks that way but you never know how it is okay and you need to work on your solar plex this is the third chakra and you need to work on your solar flex and I think that is vroom, vroom, vroom. you can say it three times behind each other but you need to work on your solar flex if you notice that your stomach is fat that means your solar flex is in balance okay if you have a fat stomach that means your solar plex is in balance you need to work on your solar plex to remove whatever the energies is and whatever the situation that is going on with you so let's look and see what is the last energies for you what is the last energies for you guys you have the energy of feathers so whatever is happening um, this calling card from the unicorn tells you they are near you okay so 
always when this comes up it is giving me an indication that whatever is happening money is on its way or you know just ask for help from the universal angels whatever is happening because you're going to realize in that uh, whatever that has has been transpiring the calling this is a calling card unicorns tell you that they are close to you so whatever is going on call upon um, the spiritual beings who help you and ask them for help because obviously as I look at your week there is a you have the energy of the world but you have strength the nine of ones is as if you're protecting yourself it's it's it's, it's, it's a lot of things and it's a lot of things that is happening around you because I can see here the queen of ones and I'm like there is so many questions I need to ask this energy of this queen of ones with swiftness but she can hurt you because she's in the reverse form she can be saying bad things about you there's a news information um, about a house that is coming to you and um, it's going to you know whatever it is a swiftness information so there is an information that is coming to you about a house and there is coming an end so if you rented out your house um, you are going to be receiving an information about um, the house a visitor to your house so some people are going to receive visitor at home some people are going to receive news about a house and um, you know whatever it is and it's as if you know um, you're going to realize that someone who had lived in your house they're going to be move sale of a house separation house need a lot of repair that sort of a thing that is going to happen for a lot of you so whatever the the the, the, the house needs a lot of repair so whatever the situation is uh, um, sale of a house separation house needs a lot of repair so this um, sort of a thing so whatever is happening you need to understand and see what is transpiring um, at this time um, so that you can um, make an an effort to, to um, do whatever is, is needed to be done okay so and um, I, I really needed to ask about that because I was wondering swift information that is coming and that sort of a thing so okay um, Whatever the situation is, whatever is happening, you know, this is a week where it's the end of the year. So, you know, get ready for next year. It's um, a sort of an energy vibration that is really, really powerful. So get ready for next year. I want to say to you, namaste until next time.